Hello and welcome. I'm Sharon Martin and I'm a messenger for Gaia. So earlier this month I released a lot of information about what was going to be happening in December. Now I'm bringing through some further information about some of the key things that have been building in terms of our energies and what, what to expect over this last little while. So I am going to be reading from my notes, there's quite a lot of them, and let's get started. Since 2016, I have been virtually in daily connection and communication with Gaia, Lady Gaia, the Goddess Lady Gaia, the being who is our Ascended Master of our planet, our Guardian, our mother, our sister, whichever way you may wish to connect with her in terms of her role with you. I've been in daily connection with her all that time and so I just invite you to subscribe to my channel or look down below and subscribe to my newsletter or do both um, because there is more and more information coming through and and it really is my blessing and privilege to be able to bring that to you as we move through our ascension aspects as humanity and as the planet. And you can build your own relationship um, with her through, through what comes. So yeah, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. So as the 1st of December dawned, the energies I saw had the look of yellow fluorite. They felt like brand new energies to the earth. I remember going, oh, wow. So when I looked up yellow fluorite, this is what I found. Yellow fluorite is a crystal of unity, intellect, and creativity. It increases understanding, logic, and intellectual ability, whilst boosting one's imagination and resourcefulness. So it's such a perfect match for this time and what I've been shown and told about the energies coming in and one um, aspect that isn't included in there is this huge kind of illumination and revealing of truth and and the, the kind of impact of expansion this month. So the energies that came in on the first I was told that they would be introduced to our bodies in the 12-12 portal. So that's the 12th of December. And then come the 20, 21st, 22nd, so those three, that sort of cluster of dates, that um, solstice portal will increase those energies and expand them and then we will ground them into the earth and integrate them into ourselves. So you will then have access to 12th dimensional lifetimes, talents, gifts and qualities in final preparation for mastery. And so it's important to attend to what is still needing to be released, healed and purified. Time for co-creation and the special Christos energy golden Christed consciousness birthing tunnel that takes us through to the beginning of our new year in February 2022. So it looks like that. It looks like our new year. Uh, it may officially begin on the calendar in January, but our energetic new year is going to begin in February. And every human will have access to their next level gifts. So if you are still in your third dimensional existence you will begin to access um, other well other gifts things like perhaps being able to begin to develop your clear audience or clairvoyance or lucid dreaming or any of the, any of those things but everybody it, it has opportunity to go up a level So the, the steady increase of release from our solar sun has also created an ongoing series of mini events of ascension for humanity. So thus having a tempering effect or a building of fitness in the body. 
allowing more of humanity to be engaged in this process than was once envisaged. So, you know, a while ago it was thought that a very few um, small percentage of humanity would ascend, but there has been this opportunity seen for 70% of humanity to ascend. And so we've been going through this process in a variety of ways to awaken us. And so 70% guys says will ascend over a period of time. Individually, you may feel this pulsing in your higher heart or sternum or both like a homing beacon and a reactivation of stored ancient codes and wisdom, a call to action, readiness, good to go for the next phase activation, as though there has been an internal switch to a new phase. So there's a double meaning there, I'm told, um, with phase meaning both segment and circuitry. So this new sun or replacement, this overlay, this upgrade has been in gestation in the centre of our earth and will be released through the December solstice. So on the 12th of December I, I, I wrote that my heart has had such an influx of light today that as I sat into the day and went to breathe into my heart I burst into tears and an overwhelm of love. I'm showing these wide bands of radiating light coming out from the centre of the earth and affecting the double helix DNA. So there's a lot of swirling movement in this light. It's illuminating and activating DNA. And also uh, I was experiencing ringing in my ears that afternoon. Interestingly, I was told that that energy was designed to unsettle us to make us uncomfortable and it includes some kundalini activation so you may find it incredibly sexual and intense you may feel this rising up through your spine you may have a pain in your back or in other parts of your body as as we are really being opened up here to receive this higher light and these higher codes so i'm showing the metaphor of a lawn mower being pull started so this is the metaphorical effect. We are being ignited, activated, kick-started. It is exciting and stimulating, calling us into the depths of our inner core to move, to undulate, to be in flow. And this is the energetic movement of integration. On the 14th of December, if you're not aware, I have this connection with Gaia here. This is her. This is a print of a painting that I have done of her, which she wanted me to do so that people can make a connection to her. And so I, I visit her in her cave in the centre of the earth most days. And on the 14th, when I was there, um... We're standing in the cave, her and I, and it, the earth appeared as this moving, swirling morphogenic field in colours of blue, green, yellow, pink and violet. It's slightly translucent. It's the appearance of an oil slick, the colours refracting the light. So if you visualise it like that. But it's in segments and it's linked into the tectonic plates. So we are in preparation for change to a higher frequency across the planet. And this will involve a change and exchange, guys, says energy-wise. So there will be minor rumbles, vibrations and movements in an ongoing process of purging and purification into higher alignments. So a little while ago I got shown that the the earth was stretching its body. The tectonic plates were having this movement, this stretch, just as we stretch our muscles and limbs. She says there will be movements in the seabed and in the earth crust and that these movements will 
affect ocean movement in the way of large swells and high tides. So there may be some flooding and some shifts in permanent higher levels. Um, therefore, some areas may go underwater as a part of long-term change. Um, I want to remind you, though, that if you attune to your inner guidance, you will be in the right place. You just follow your inner guidance. I don't see that there's a lot of it. Um, I don't see that there's a lot that goes underwater. So this will all be preceded with smaller vibratory earthquake change and exchange. So I'm showing this charging up of the ocean um, and it begins to behave with the greater EMFs, greater electromagnetic frequency and there's this discharge that comes from that that creates equilibrium and that is what is being sought for you in your body, for me in my body and for, for Gaia in the planetary body. It's this balance this equilibrium um, being sought through this EMF charge, this inner, outer, above the surface, below the surface. It's all about balance, another key um, focus in this month for all of us. So, you know, we and the earth mirroring each other. Um, this energetic experience keeping us all in constant motion for easier exchange of energies for purification, for balance, and for higher crystallization, which we and the earth are going through and experiencing. So she's saying we may feel unsteady on the feet, wobbly in the internal planes, but all of this creates easier movement of change. So as I was in the cave with Gaia this morning, we were both staring upwards at this swirling mass of light energy in the feeling of being in an elevator moving upwards. This energetic swirling mass of light, you know, we know as earth on one level, is the light body aspect. It's moving like a giant ship through the galaxy. So I've mentioned this before, that we're moving further and further into the photonic belt, and we will be doing that again. Um, it's been incremental. We're not going to have this great big event that was spoken about earlier and I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a moment um, but the physical earth is moving through the galaxy like a giant ship towing a dragnet behind it think giant fishing boat being retrieved from the bottom of the ocean the whole boat being winched to the surface with all the debris of nets and floats etc being pulled up behind it ready for a refit, for a relaunch. That's us, Gaia, proud mama, I have to say. Um, as I was showing that and, and being there with her, I was crying. It was just such a spectacular vision and, and experience. Um, the following morning, I woke at 5.30 um, and there was this surreal feeling to the day as though I was in the twilight zone. I get or got that it was due to so much old being dissolved out and it feels very, very different on that day. It's very much like being on a movie set that many of us now, guys, said are in this ethereal stage um, and that we're in this transitional portal and we'll have many... Um, experiences of feeling like that and for many she said it will make it gentler on the physical form as there is much transmigration occurring at a cellular level our bodies are changing form um, and Gaia says that this irradiance so I had to look that word up irradiance will affect us strongly over this time so this is irradiance the amount of light energy from one thing hitting a square meter of another each second. Photons that carry this energy have wavelengths from energetic X-rays and gamma rays to visible light to the infrared radio. So 
that's um that's the one of these light energies that we're receiving over this time um, i'm also showing that many may receive angelic codes related to higher heart coming online and um it creates really deep belly breaths as that is all opening up it's interesting um, and it's also con connected to kundalini energy so it's definitely this time to dream up the new and let go of all the old all the old notions ideas constructs patterns learning everything just let it all go and let it all reconfigure into the new don't don't hold on to any of it um, and especially don't hold on to any kind of old concepts of who you believe that you are so guys says expect all of this to build each day until the 20th and then it will be hypercharged ignited accelerated big time boom guys says we will see a spectacular light burst that will bring about extreme purification on that day and an action of expansion as the planet moves in a shallow arc through this date to have a softer aspect to the sun. So she says there is likely to be a solar flash and a sonic boom. However, the days of darkness will occur in a more diminished way. So we may, Guy has spoken about that we may have days of darkness in three different ways. It may be blocking out the sun, it may be losing communication, it may be losing power. Um, she's saying that, so those, those, um, the power and communication may still go down with this solar flash, but we're not likely to have, um, a black day, no sun light at all, but we are likely to have a grey day, she said. Um, it would be more akin to a dark grey day than to a lights out event. This is due to the ongoing release of flares and filaments from the sun. So the sun has managed to retain its form, Gaia says, in readiness for overlay rather than replacement. Using this process of ongoing release, which has accelerated over time. Um, and if you want to, you could look up the Days of Darkness blog on my website. And my website's listed underneath. Um, so if you want to read that and this pulsating light in the center of the earth is being radiated and pulsated out in this asterisk star shape that's how I witness the light moving from the center the portals and spaces between the tectonic plates and all aspects of our living breathing sentient planet are beginning to be washed and activated by this light and, and that's that's how it looks to me. That's how I'm showing it. It's like, um, even on a cellular level, each cell is sort of opened up and washed with this light. Uh, all cells throughout the planet, from the quark or the quanta molecules through to us as human beings. So this is you and me on the leading edge of change. As we move in spiraling motion, up to our fifth dimensional earth with access now to gifts and talents and experiences and knowledge from our 12th dimensional aspects and lives. So this month of December, we are going to witness truth illumined in a massive way from self, within self, from society and the world. This massive collapse of falsities and this includes the personality the ego that's going to um, be released or collapse or um, dissolve this opportunity to let that go and come into our authentic self and around us all systems and structures that do not serve us they will all go now, I've mentioned that before and that some of them will disappear in a whoosh and some of them will kind of dissolve over time. Um, but we now need to have this greater focus on creating up what it is that we want our new world, our new earth to look like. 
and to let go and to surrender it all, hand it over to the divine, to this greater magnificent power. Not, not the creation of it, but the dissolution of it. Surrender it all. So in summary, we are in the midst of our grand awakening. And some of us are awake and some of us are beginning to wake up. We're all at different levels. And we can see it from many different levels and I encourage you to view it that way. So from this third dimensional physical level, there's been this squeeze to awaken, which has come through many aspects of this pandemic. So we can see that there's been a very big agenda of fear and propaganda. And so the question is, how have you responded to that? And how will you respond to that as it continues or ends? Um, will you go deeper into this aspect of being controlled? Or will you exit out into your own sovereignty and enter into your own empowerment? That, of course, is your choice. And that has been a major lesson of this um, period that we've gone through in the last two years. There's been many lessons, but that's been a major one. To gift people the opportunity regarding personal choice to come into one's own authority, one's own divine authority, your own sovereignty, and to be empowered to speak truth. So there will be more truths revealed to and from self as false masks and shields and programs and beliefs will be dissolved and released. And we will witness more of this from governments and other authorities. We will likely witness more and more ridiculousness for a little while to awaken people who are not yet awake. Perhaps you can see it from that perspective. So I like to see it as a bit of a play. Light workers, please remember be compassionate and to sit alongside people when they awaken and when they are shown truth of what has been going on there will be a lot of self-admonition really uh, people will be feeling a little bit in despair a little bit um, maybe they might feel a little bit foolish um, so just remember when they seek you out, be their study buddy, sit alongside them and hear them and ask them what things they might want to know or quest ask them what questions they have. Don't, don't be their teacher. Just be in your beautiful, compassionate heart. In some way, each of us is coming into greater expanded heart energy and also higher heart energy and greater clearing in the throat chakra. So this combination kind of, you know, of here, here and here, um, combining seeking our greater purpose and speaking our truth. So we have been going through a lot of physical changes, just as the earth is, of course. And this has involved greater crystallization in our body as we change from carbon into crystal or crystal liquid light. Part of the Christed Christos light tunnel that we are going through at the moment and this other light that's coming in, these angelic codes and other codes. So those are the energies and it's all, it's, it's all for this greater purpose of our ascension. And it's just so exciting. It just is. So Gaia, for a long time now, has spoken about how it is our right as humanity here on the earth to be resourced with our basic needs of food, shelter, warmth, clothing and energy. And we're going to see a lot of change come in each of those areas. Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of information about these. Uh, you need to know there will be an economic collapse. I am kind of surprised this hasn't happened already, um, but it really wouldn't surprise me if it happens uh, this year still. Um, so I want to tell you that my total sense of this is that there is already an existing new platform or system that's kind of laid underneath it, as though the shelf here collapses, but there's already something here that that comes 
and, and it will really easily come online for us. I don't know exactly how that will look, but there's a variety of ways it could play out. And, and so for, for me, I just trust that that will be okay. I believe that we may have some multiple systems in place for a while. Um, and what I do believe is that we may think that we have lost our money from the bank, um, that it may look as though it's disappeared for a short while, as though you can't see your balance or can't access your account. Um, but I don't believe that it really will have. And I'm not sure how that will show up, whether it will show up in another form, but I just don't believe that we will have, um, that this will just be part of the swap over. And I absolutely know that we will be resourced and provided for. So one of the things um, you know, that this new economic system will bring us is that, that we'll be resourced for our basic needs and, um, and, and then we will, we will do work that we love. I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but the other thing that the new system, the economic system will provide is this um, honest and transparent process. So criminal activity in regards to money, it will be able to be tracked and seen. We'll see a lot of healing therapies made available and a lot of technologies will be released shortly. There's been a lot that's been withheld from us here on the earth. Um, and some of that will be available to people who have had uh, suffered side effects from the vaccines. Um, we will have a huge shift from sickness and disease to health and wellness. Um, also, there are a lot of technologies that come to assist us so we can begin to live our life in our higher aspects of consciousness. Um, I might make a series of videos around specific sort of content topics about that shortly, um, the changes that are to come to all of our systems. But right now, these energies coming to Earth are facilitating and catalyzing change in our physical bodies. Many of us will change jobs and change focus, we'll have reduced hours, because there'll be a whole lot of reasons for that. Uh, one of them being less consumerism, one of them being more time wanting to be used for kind of higher consciousness work and, and self-development. There'll be less hours worked and that extra time will be put into service and activities that you are passionate about. So we're moving from service to self to service to others. You can begin to work out what it is that you love to do, what it is that turns you on and pips you up and energizes you, and then that can become a big sort of focus wheel for you to figure out what your new work might be. Uh, resource hoarding, it will become a thing of the past as we release fear, anxiety and worry and that really is the aspect for all of us to release now. Any of those negative emotions, they hold us down in lower vibration. We need to attend to our wounding, come into wholeness, come into wellness, come into balance. So for those who are awakening now, this inner journey of self-discovery, of attending to one's wounds, this will be a very big focus. We will have some period of shortages of resource, especially in the area of food. So if you've not got seeds and soil organised, then go and do that. If you don't have a garden, then get some pots. Even if all you do is plant some lettuce seeds and some spinach seeds, depending on your season, you know, that will give you some greens for your table. Um, you can be eating those within a few weeks of planting. Get connected in your communities. We can share and support one another through this to get through this. And in many ways, this will be another change that assists us to move through to a, another way of being in community. We'll have systems that support and are aligned with truth and authenticity. And remember the dark cannot come to the higher dimensional planes. It cannot exist beyond the fourth dimension. We're moving into the fifth dimension. And also many of these darker entities have already been removed from the planet. And um, I have been watching that happen in the inner earth over um, a, a, few, a few years really. I watched that occurring on the inner earth and then 
Oh, yeah. Interestingly, actually, Gaia said to me, and now we will begin with the surface. And that was, that was um, yeah, sometime in 2019 that she said that. So, you know, this what we've been going through has been about clearing up the, the surface and the crust. There'll be more of that that we'll learn about. Um, remember that Gaia's wisdom is always speaking about viewing things from many perspectives. So begin begin to look at that. This is happening on the 3D. So what effect does that have uh, on our higher dimension? Just begin the practice of that. Remember to follow your inner guidance. This is a major lesson of this time to be in our own authentic voice and in our own inner truth and alignment and center and balance and this is what will bring you to the place where you're meant to be and with the people you're meant to be with uh, having the experience that you chose to have and um, I'm going to close with this message from Gaia we are ascending there is an inner glow in the earth a higher radiance a pulsating light Gaia is singing, there is a karanga, a calling out to the universe. Come, witness my splendour, my sparkling grace, my new magnificence. Come, celebrate my majesty, my new arising, my return to glory, to my former dual placement in the crown of the universe. So I look forward to uh, coming back and seeing you again soon, um, but it may not be until we've moved through this little passage of time. And I wish you very much love from, from my heart and from the heart of Gaia. And I wish you a beautiful, beautiful Christmas holiday season with your family and loved ones.